Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your Political News Roundup for Wednesday, June 16th. A $20 billion fund is being set up by BP to pay for damage claims stemming from the Gulf of Mexico oil disaster. President Obama announced the fund this afternoon after a four-hour White House meeting with BP executives. The fund will be administered by the president's payzar, Kenneth Feinberg, who also oversaw payments to victims of the 9-11 terror attacks. Obama emphasized the payments could go above $20 billion and that the fund would not affect any liability actions taken against BP down the road. BP Chairman Carl Henrik Svonberg called the meeting with Obama very constructive. He apologized to the American people for the oil spill and repeated that BP will live up to all of its legitimate responsibilities stemming from the action. Svanberg said BP will look after the people affected and will pay to repair the region and its economy. He also announced that the company would stop paying shareholder dividends for the remainder of this year. As of today, the dividend being paid was $3.36 per share. July 2011 will mark the beginning of the U.S. troop withdrawal from Afghanistan, not the date by which they'll be gone. That word to Congress today from U.S. Commander General David Petraeus. He told the Senate Armed Services Committee that President Obama's July 2011 target date will see the start of what he said would be an orderly, responsible U.S. drawdown and transition to Afghan forces. The rate of withdrawal, he said, would depend on conditions on the ground. And the two federal housing finance agencies got bad news from Wall Street. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were told to delist their stock from the New York Stock Exchange. The move was ordered by the Federal Housing Finance Agency, which has overseen those companies since they nearly dissolved during the housing loan crisis. It's being considered a voluntary delisting. The move sent shares of the publicly traded agencies plunging. That's your political news roundup for Wednesday, June 16th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.